now that we have our slip stitch done on top and our pot holder is pretty much the way it's going to be we are going to be doing a decorative stitch on the top through all three layers and what this is gonna do is it's just going to secure your um, batting in place um, so not only does it have a decorative function, um, but there is actually a function to it otherwise because as you your pot holder gets used, that batting might kind of shift and kind of tear away from the edges of your pot holder. So this just ensures that it stays um, in place and in place in the middle because there's a large area here that it is not secured to anything. So I'm going to start on the back side here and I'm just going to do a simple running stitch all the way around. Um, about a half inch from my um, edge here and I just want to make sure that I keep it nice and even so if you don't start at a half inch whatever you start at just try to keep it nice and even don't try to go crooked to correct that okay and just try to make nice even stitches um, going all the way around your pot holder here so there's my first stitch and remember a running stitch is just an up and down stitch um, and you really just want to pay attention to where you're coming through so that your line remains straight. Okay, so I just finished my running stitch here and I ended on the back side of my pot holder here and now I just need to tie off. So to tie off, I am just going to make the smallest little stitch right next to where I came through here. Okay, so a small little stitch right next to where I came through. And then I am going to grab that loop as I pull through so it doesn't go all the way through. I've got my loop. I'm gonna go around my loop with my needle and then I'm going to go through my loop and I'm going to just pull that nice and tight. So I can do that again, a nice really small stitch. A small little stitch right next to where I came through, holding my loop, going around my loop, and then through my loop with my needle and pulling tight and you want to do that probably two times just to make sure that that's very secure when you have your running stitch done all the way around go ahead and take a short video on flipgrid to show to me mm -hmm. 